When it comes to criminal justice, we'd all like to think that the punishment fits the crime. After all, knowing that the worst offenders are locked away somewhere, gives us all a sense of comfort. But what if the punishment doesn't fit the crime? What if the punishment is far, far worse than that deserved? From physical abuse and disease, to severe overcrowding and gang violence, the following terrifying pits of chaos and despair, are the worst prisons in the world. Venezuelan prisons, are considered to be some of the most violent, in the world. More than 3,700, of Venezuela's most violent prisoners, are packed like sardines into Sabaneta, a prison built to house no more than 700. As you'd guess, the prison is filthy, dangerous, overcrowded, and neglected. And with a prisoner to guard ratio, of about 150 to 1, maintaining order is extremely difficult. The prisoners, of course, maintain their own kind of order, in the form of a rigid, gang-controlled hierarchy. Poor, low-status inmates, are forced to pay the more powerful inmates, just to secure a place to sleep, and if they want water, many prisoners must drink, straight from corroded bathroom pipes. As a result of such abhorrent abuse, riots have broken out time and time again, in the prison's blood-stained history. In 1994, 108 prisoners were killed in a particularly brutal riot, that left the prison scorched black. In 2013, 16 inmates were killed during a riot. The perpetual war between rival gangs, led to the beheading, and gruesome dismemberment of several victims, and a follow-up raid, found a large stockpile of assault rifles, grenades, and even endangered animals, which belonged to the PRAN, the leaders of the prison hierarchy. In the words of former Venezuelan president, Hugo Chavez, Sabaneta, is the gateway, to the fifth circle of hell. The prison was closed after 55 years of operation, due to government intervention, and is now being converted into a museum. Bangkwang Prison, jokingly known as the Bangkok Hilton, is a severely overcrowded, and underfunded, maximum security facility, that houses both local and foreign prisoners. It has a reputation worldwide, for being one of the very worst prisons, due to extraordinarily unfair sentencing, and inmate abuse. Built in the 1930s, the prison was originally supposed to hold, no more than 3,000 inmates, but now houses approximately 6,000, with most serving sentences of at least 25 years. Around 10% of those prisoners, are on death row, and each death row inmate, had shackles welded to their legs permanently. A practice that ended in 2013. But shackles do remain in use, as a form of classification, new prisoners must always wear shackles, for the first three months. Only one meal, a bowl of rice and soup, is served each day, other food must be purchased through the canteen, although the poor prisoners have to work for the wealthier prisoners, in order to afford the canteen's goods. In the case of Angela Carnegie, an American who spent nine years in Bangkok for drug smuggling, the only meal offered to her, was usually infested with maggots. Likewise, Judith Payne recalls the rat-infested floors of Bangkok, as well as the first night of her incarceration, during which she was attacked by prisoners, who tried to steal a diamond earrings. Payne often observed guards beating, mentally ill and elderly prisoners with sticks, and at one time, witnessed a pregnant woman endure, the same abuse. Most prisoners are malnourished and often diseased, thanks to the lack of running water, and the terrible sewage system, which sends toxic fumes into the prison, and creates a myriad of health issues, that are only exacerbated by the overcrowding. Perhaps the scariest aspect of the prison, is how easy it is to end up there for decades even if it's not warranted. UK native Jonathan Wheeler, was sentenced to Bangkok for smuggling heroin, and was sentenced to 50 years. Meanwhile, a local who was arrested for shooting and butchering his wife, was released after only 11 years. In Wheeler's words, life is so cheap there, that drug sentences are worse than murder. The Black Dolphin Prison, is a correctional facility in Solovetsk, Russia, near its border with Kazakhstan. The prison is one of the oldest in Russia. It gets its unofficial name, from a prisoner-constructed sculpture, depicting a black dolphin, 
which is set in front of the main entrance. The prison houses approximately 700 of Russia's worst criminals, including child molesters, murderers, terrorists, cannibals, and serial killers. Prisoners at Black Dolphin are all serving sentences of life imprisonment. The prison began accepting these inmates on the 1st of November 2000. Inmates are kept isolated in cells that have a set of three steel doors. For 90 minutes a day, they exercise in a large cage. During this time, cells are searched for contraband or illegal items. Inmates are also under 24 hour surveillance and supervision. They are forced to stand and not to rest or sit on their bunks from the time they awake until bedtime, which is roughly 16 hours. When prison officers make a command to the inmates, they must respond with the words, Yes, sir. Every 15 minutes, a guard makes rounds to ensure Black Dolphin inmates are complying with the rules. The prisoners are fed soup four times a day and are only allowed books, newspapers, and a radio. Prison guards place blindfolds on arriving inmates so that they cannot map out the prison or plan escapes. The inmates are also blindfolded whenever they are transported between buildings. Black Dolphin prison officers have a unique form of escorting inmates, prisoners are kept bent over at the waist, while a guard holds their handcuffed hands, behind their back, higher than the hips. This escort control tactic, allows for maximum brutal control, while depriving the inmate, of a view of his immediate surroundings, preventing him from escaping, and or attacking prison staff. Deep inside Russia, in the midst of thick forests, larger than Germany, lies a prison like no other. The area was once home to the Gulags. The authorities refer to it as Colony 56, but to its inmates and the criminal underworld, it is known as Black Eagle. It is a prison exclusively for murderers. Inside, 260 men are locked up. Behind its walls are terrorists, sadists, psychopaths, serial killers, rapists who murdered their victims, contract killers, child murderers, and organized crime figures. There are also men who have killed others, in a crazed fit, or drunken stupor. They are among Russia's most dangerous criminals. For them, Black Eagle, is the end of the line. They're kept inside for 23 hours a day, with an hour to walk, in a special room without a roof. Prisoners sleep with the lights on, and during the day, lying in bed is prohibited. Each morning, the guards read aloud a description of each of the prisoners' crimes, and a sign is hung on the doors of each cell with a description of their crimes. The prison's nickname comes from an inmate made eagle sculpture. In 2019, the prison was closed. The oldest prison in California, San Quentin, is notoriously known for its violence. It has been home to many infamous criminals, including Charles Manson, Scott Peterson, and Sirhon Sirhon, the man who assassinated Robert F. Kennedy. It had the only death row facility in the state, for more than 700 death row inmates, the largest facility in the United States, and home to California's only gas chamber. But in early 2022, the state started the process of closing death row, and relocating the inmates, three years after the California governor ended executions in the state. Over the years, and particularly in the 1960s and 70s, San Quentin earned a reputation for corruption and interracial riots that were encouraged by the guards. USP Terriot is a maximum security federal prison in the United States for male inmates located in Terriot, Indiana. USP Terriot houses a special confinement unit for male federal inmates who have been sentenced to death, as well as the federal execution chamber. Most inmates sentenced to death by the US federal government are housed in USP Terriot prior to execution, with few exceptions. The ACLU accused Terriot in 2008 of having grossly inadequate conditions at its special confinement unit where death row inmates are held. It accused the prison of denying the prisoners medical care and mental health services and said they were subjected to so much noise that it caused them sleep deprivation. 
federal executions at Tariot, have been on pause since, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, announced July 1, 2021, that the Department of Justice would review its policy, on capital punishment. This was after the Trump administration, carried out 13 federal executions, just months before the end of Trump's term, including the execution of Lisa Montgomery, by lethal injection, on January 12, 2021. Montgomery was the first woman put to death, by the US in 67 years. On December 16, 2004, Lisa entered the home of Bobby Joe Stinnett, and murdered her by strangulation. Montgomery then cut Stinnett's unborn child from her womb, and fled the scene. 46 men remain on death row at Terraute, including Dylan Roof, who was sentenced to death for federal hate crimes. On June 17, 2015, Dylan shot and killed nine church parishioners, because they were black, in Charleston, South Carolina. Often referred to as, the Alcatraz of Russia, Petak Island, holds some of Russia's most dangerous criminals. Aside from the mental torture, of 22 and a half hour a day lockdowns, in two-man rooms, most prisoners are allowed just two visitors per year. And that's all the inmates, can ever hope for, as the prison itself, is hopelessly inescapable, surrounded by the freezing waters, of White Lake. In the words of a former head guard, if they dig, they hit water. If they try to swim, the guards will shoot them. One inmate summarized Better Kylan's hopelessness, when he said, this is the worst. There are no lavatories, no proper washing facilities, and you spend your whole life in a cell. When I came here, I told my wife, to get a divorce. She cried a little, and we've never seen each other since. That kind of isolation becomes even worse, if an inmate doesn't follow the rules. They are then locked in a small, dark room for 15 days, with a metal bucket, and a wooden perch to sit on. In addition to the sheer isolation, of Petak Island, inmates have limited access to basic facilities, like bathrooms, which is a major contributor, to the fact that half of the inmates, have tuberculosis. During the hour and a half, of outdoor excursions, allowed each day, prisoners are confined to a small outdoor cage, just big enough to stand and pace back and forth in. Petak Island, is particularly brutal, even among the worst prisons on earth, it may keep inmates safe, from the violence, rape, and abuse that often occur, in less secure prisons, but the psychological anguish, suffered there, is enough to break even the most hardened criminals. Human rights offenses are the biggest problem, at Black Beach Prison, in Equatorial Guinea, but guard brutality, starvation, overcrowding, and rat infestations, are almost daily issues, too. Prisoners die from chronic disease, torture, and prolonged beatings. Some prisoners simply disappear altogether. Karanjiru Prison, was the site of the Karanjiru tragedy in 1992 where riots caused the mass execution of the inmates within the facility by the guards charged with watching over them. Over 1,300 deaths were confirmed throughout the entire course of its history. Human rights violations ran rampant during its 46 years. This prison in Rwanda has been called hell on earth by some. Prisoners simply eat, sleep, rot, and die altogether. Prisoners were left for dead, for quite some time, during the Rwandan genocide. Gangrene was quite common throughout the facility, and cannibalism ran rampant. Prisoners live in some of the worst, conditions imaginable here in Kenya. Sodomy, being beaten to death, malnutrition, cholera, and ulcers are completely normal among those living within the gated facility. It won't get better anytime soon, unfortunately. Those were some horrible prisons, but regrettably, there are many, many more. We'll have to save them for another video. Thank you for watching.